Dear students, I welcome you all to this microprocessor tutorial series. In this video, we will learn about the restart instructions in A085 microprocessor. So, we will be having 8 different types of restart instructions. Basically, the type is the same, but we have 8 restart instructions. So, we will consider all those instructions and we will learn how to use those instructions. So, what do we understand by the restart instruction? This restart instruction is a one word instruction. Okay. And next we have its register indirect addressing mode. So, we can write these are the details. Register indirect addressing mode means we have the register and the register stores the location of the value okay register indirect addressing mode we have learned about different addressing modes in our previous lectures in our previous video on addressing mode okay so these are the some specification and this restart instruction actually denoted by r s t n n rst n this n vary from 0 to 1 and up to 7 that means we have eight different types of restart instruction so what is the function of this restart instruction first of all we have to understand that in the main program the program counter holds the memory address of the next instruction that is going to be executed by the microprocessor okay so what we'll do when we have this restart instruction let me right inside the box so when we have this restart n n can be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay when we have this restart instruction the program counter content must be saved in the stack so how we will save in the stack so suppose if we have this one is the stack if the stack pointer is pointing at this address we have to store the lower order 8 bits in the sp-2 this is sp-1 and this is sp-2 so in this address we have to store the content of the lower order program counter 8 bits and in the psp-1 this one where here we have to store the content that is pch let me write down here pc H we will store here and PCL we will store here. Okay, so we can write it like SP minus one. Here we will store the content of the PCH. So you might be confused what is PCH and PCL. So let me write down here. Suppose we have the program counter content is this is a 16 bit data therefore suppose we have suppose one zero one one zero zero one zero and we have one one zero 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 one so what is the pch this higher order eight bits are the pch okay and this lower order eight bits are termed as pcl that is the program counter lower order 8 bits here we have the program counter higher order 8 bits that means the most significant 8 bits and we can say that this is the least significant 8 bits okay so you did not to confuse because the program counter holds the memory address and we know that in the case of a085 microprocessor we have 16 bit address bus and if we have 16 bit address bus the address will be represented with a 16 bit binary data okay in hexadecimal it will be a 4 bit hexadecimal number and in the case of binary number we have a 16 bit data okay so 16 bit value so pch and pcl i hope you are clear with this concept so whatever be the content of the pch in the main program so in that program whenever we arrive at this restart instruction what will happen this program counter higher order value will be stored at the stack pointer minus one value okay as i have shown in the right hand side figure and what we will do in the sp minus two sp minus 2 add this that is the stack pointer minus 2 value we will be storing the pcl value so we have saved that means we have saved the uh, program counter content in the stack pointer so after saving the program counter content in the stack pointer so now we can go to the 
or now we can jump to that restart location so the program whenever we arrive at this uh, restart it is the call instruction it falls under the call instruction so this restart instruction will jump to that specific location so which specific location we will see considering all the restart instructions okay so before going to that we have to do some other modifications also so now after doing these two operations so we have to modify the stack pointer value with the sp minus 2 why sp minus 2 i will tell you now sp minus 2 means it is storing the pcl value you can see here this is pcl value is stored in the uh, step pointer minus two value so whenever next we have to access or when we next we will return to the main program we must have the program counter content starting with the lower order 8 bits then we have to go to the higher order 8 bits so step pointer value will be modified with the sp minus 2 value okay so this is another term and what we have to do the program counter content must be modified with the 8 times n 8 multiplied with n okay so what is 8 multiplied with n this is nothing but this will go to a vectored address okay and 8 times n means from 0 to 7 we have n value therefore the data will be 2 in 2 bit in hexadecimal number and 8 bit in binary number so the address of the restart location is 8 times n so therefore we have written here 8 multiplied with n that will be transferred to the program counter okay that will be written into the program counter that means the program counter will now go to that vectored address okay so the restart instruction and the locations we can see here in this table that means whenever we have restart rst0 rst0 means n value is 0 here so 8 will be multiplied with 0 we have 0 that means the restart location that will be a 16 bit address that will be 0 0 0 0 this will be the restart location when we have n value is equal to 1 8 multiplied with 1 so we have 8 so what will be the hexadecimal representation 0008 so for restart rst1 for this instruction the restart location will be 0008 that means whenever we arrive at restart one instruction it will jump to this restart location okay because this is a branching instruction and it falls under the call instruction category it is a type of call instruction so it is a branching instruction and depending on the n value it will jump to that restart location or it will branch the main program to that restart location okay next we have n equal to 2 when we have n equal to 2 8 multiplied with 2 that means 16 16 in decimal number and in hexadecimal it is represented with one zero okay 16 means it is one zero 15 is zero f okay so this is hexa decimal okay this is a hexadecimal representation this then is hexadecimal representation of this decimal number this is decimal number okay and this one zero is hexadecimal number so here we have to write zero zero one zero now we have a restart 3 n value is equal to 3 so 8 multiplied with 3 is equal to 24 24 means 16 plus 8 so we can write it as if we write 1 that is 16 and 8 16 plus 8 this 24 in decimal is 18 in hexadecimal number so we have to write here 0 0 1 8 next we have 4 n is equal to 4 means 8 multiplied with 4 we have this 32 that means 2 2 value that therefore this 32 in hexadecimal will be 0 0 2 0 okay next we have restart instruction 5 that is n value is 5 that is 8 multiplied with 5 it is 40 so 32 plus 8 therefore we can write in hexadecimal as 28 so 40 in decimal number is 28 in hexadecimal number 0 0 8 okay so this is the instruction rst5 so when we have rst5 in the 
program that will jump to the restart location 0028 okay next we have rst6 rst6 means 8 into 6 it is 48 therefore we can write it as it is 0030 48 is 30 in hexadecimal number okay this 48 in decimal is equivalent to 30 in hexadecimal number therefore 0030 when we have this restart 6 instruction then the program will jump to this restart location then the program execution will be branched to this given restart address okay next we have rst7 n value is 7 8 into 7 it is 56 56 is decimal number is equivalent to 38 in hexadecimal number therefore we can write 0038 so this is the restart address for this rst7 instruction so this is all about the restart instruction in 8085 microprocessor thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you